Academic requirements for athletes too strict? Well, that's a question the South Bend School Board is considering. WSBT 22's Patrick Ross spoke to board members today about that. And Patrick, they're talking about lowering the GPA requirement. Yeah, Rick, right now students need to have at least a C average, about a 2.0 GPA to be eligible. But some school board members think that, that only punishes students who fall short. They want to have a policy that helps students who aren't academically eligible rather than just banning them outright. But others say that's just lowering standards. The start of the school year is just around the corner in South Bend. School teams are already out practicing for the start of their new season, but some school board members say that maybe it's time to change the way schools look at who is academically eligible. So generally what we had was a policy that was determined by uh, the, the coaches, the teachers, the students, the parents that we talked to, to be purely punitive in nature. The new proposal would lower the standards slightly and give students with lower grades more access to tutors and study sessions. But rather than merely being punitive, we're also going to give our students tools to work with. Any proposal that dilutes the current policy, which only asks for a C, 2.0 uh, GPA, uh, I think is a step in the wrong direction. Roger Parent is a former school board member who wrote the current academic standards policy. He says studies show that when more is expected of students, they do better and lowering those expectations could hurt student performance. We still have higher standards than surrounding school districts, Penn, Harris, Madison, Mishawaka High School, Plymouth, etc. So we're not diluting our standards. It's stricter than the IHSAA. I think that's unfortunate. I think the other school districts should have uh, higher standards too. Now right now these changes are just suggestions. They'll have a second reading of these suggestions at their meeting on August 3rd and the school board will then vote to accept them then. I mean, there's already been some questions about why they're doing this in terms of are they trying to get a more competitive edge on the playing field or what are they saying? Yeah, Rick, that is something I asked them and they said that wins and losses never really entered the equation here. They said that when they're thinking about easing these academic standards, it actually might help keep some students in school as opposed to dropping out because they lose the sports. That's what's mm -hmm. keeping them there and they just decide. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Patrick, thanks very much.